Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title, and I'm so glad that you joined me for the Lord's Word of God today. And we celebrate Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and there is no other master of the universe. Amen? Amen. And when I call on Jesus, all things are possible. Amen? Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, today's message is about Jesus and how Jesus is the one that heals us. And so if you brought your Bibles today, please turn with me to the book of Revelation chapter 22. We'll start reading verse 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of its street and on either side of the river was the tree of life, which bore twelve fruits, each tree yielding fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. They shall see his face, and his name shall be written on their foreheads. There shall be no more night there. They need no lamp, nor the light of the sun. For the Lord God gives them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. So we will be with our Lord and Savior for eternity in this beautiful place that he describes. And the Bible is the truth, and it does not lie. And so we see that there's a tree of life there, which will bear 12 fruits. And we see the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And so, brothers and sisters, at our last destination, we will put a leaf on our wound, and our wound will be healed. Jesus heals us now, but the leaves will keep us well then. So now turn with me to the book of Luke, chapter 7. Now what this is about is John the Baptist is in prison awaiting execution. And so he loses his faith. And he sends two of his disciples to go to Jesus to ask if he is the one or are they to wait for another. I'm reading verse 22. Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things that you have seen and heard, that the blind see, the lame walk, the leopards are cleansed, the deaf hear and the dead are raised. So brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is the one that heals us now. Last night, I returned from a visit to Miami and I met a cook there that was from Haiti named Levert, a Christian man. I was able to get him a Bible in the French language that they speak in Haiti. And he was very happy. And he shared with me that he was diagnosed with cancer five years ago. And I shared with him that I was diagnosed with terminal cancer 39 years ago. And we both praised Jesus for healing us. Amen? Amen. And so we gave him all the glory and praise together. And brothers and sisters, you have to realize that Jesus is the great healer. And he will heal you. And he can heal you of all things. And the ultimate healing, brothers and sisters, is the total healing away from damnation, is having Jesus in your heart. In John chapter 8, the word tells us, it is those who hear the word of God and do them that are saved. So brothers and sisters, let us continue carrying the cross given to us by taking Christ as our master, our teacher, our example. Believe his doctrine and obey him, and we will all be with our Lord and Savior someday for eternity. Amen? Amen.